Now I'm sure you've got a bit of time on your hands since we're all in lockdown. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you a selection of my top five must watch videos that you should really watch and educate yourself with before the onset of 2021. So put away your Netflix, cancel your Amazon Prime, because these are the box sets you will need to binge watch over Christmas lockdown. Hi, my name is Ranjan Bhattacharya. Welcome to this channel. I've been investing and developing properties for the last 30 years. You may have seen me on the hit Sky show, Property Elevator, or you may have attended one of our Baker Street property meetups in central London. This channel and the videos we put out, it's all dedicated to keeping you at the top of your property investing game. We put out new videos each and every week, so make sure if you haven't already done so, subscribe, hit the bell icon, so you're notified as soon as we upload new content. Now this channel has grown phenomenally in the last year. We're now in excess of 30,000 subscribers. We weren't even a third of that at the beginning of this year. So there is a chance that if you're new to this channel, you may have missed some of our most popular videos. And these are videos that you really wanna watch uh, and binge watch before the start of 2021 because they'll equip you with the knowledge so that an understanding so you are at the top of your property investing game. Now, if you've seen some of these videos and you've liked them, do leave a comment uh, down below. Smash the like button as well. It helps get this video to more people out on YouTube. So what we've done, we've made it really convenient for you. We've put this binge watch Xmas lockdown 2020 uh, set, box set of videos in a separate playlist. The link to the playlist is in the description. And when you reach the end of this video, it will automatically take you to that playlist as well. So it's nice and easy for you to binge watch. So let's get on with it. First off is some valuable information. Well, my predictions, if you like, for what's gonna happen with property prices and the UK property market. It is um, a cause of concern and it is a cause of a multitude of differing opinions that are out there. I've done two hugely popular videos. One is where I set out what I feel is gonna to happen to property prices in the UK after COVID-19. The second video you should watch is this one. It's all about why I do not believe there's going to be a doom and gloom house price crash in the UK in 2021. It's been very popular, over 32,000 views, 1,000 plus likes and 300 or so comments. So it stimulated a lot of debate. Uh, watch the video, read the comments, join in the debate uh, and see whether you agree with me uh, once I've laid out the case for, for why I don't believe the property prices will crash in 2021. Next up, I want you to have a think about the kind of property investment strategies you'll be undertaking in 2021. Now, uh, while I don't believe the property market is going to go up, I don't believe it's going to go down either. It's going to be pretty much flat line with some minor movements here and there in certain regions at a regional level. So in that sort of backdrop, what you've got to do is make sure that everything you buy, you buy well, and you make sure you add value to everything that you buy. Because you've got to force the appreciation in any property that you buy in a market where the market is not doing it for you. What I'm alluding to, of course, is the Brr strategy buy, renovate, rent out, refinance and repeat. That is going to be the number one strategy for 2021. I put out a detailed video on this about a month ago. It's had over 13,000 views. So take a look, look at that, watch it and digest. Now, of course, Brewer relies on a couple of things. One is buying well. I'm gonna be doing plenty of videos on how to source below market value property in the market conditions of 2021. So if you haven't already done so, subscribe, hit the bell icon, you'll be notified as soon as we upload those. The other essential piece of the Brewer strategy is the renovate strategy. Now I've said this time and time again, just a, a lick of paint and replacing a bathroom and kitchen, quite frankly, isn't, gonna, isn't going to cut the mustard. You ain't gonna get the uplift that you require when you refinance the property to pull your money out of the deal. The way to get a significant uplift from renovation is really to add real value to a property. And the best way to add real value is to cre create additional dwellings. 
And I'm talking about additional flats that you can either rent out or sell on. Now, the best opportunity by far for capitalizing on this sort of renovation opportunity is by understanding and getting to grips with the permitted development rights, which are available for repurposing defunct commercial properties to residential use. Now this way, if there's a shop and uppers or an old office building or something like that, and it, it hasn't got a use, you can easily repurpose it to residential use to create multiple flats uh, without going through cumbersome planning. Now there have been permitted development rights up till now, which make this rel relatively straightforward, but they're getting easier. They're getting easier. The government is going to introduce even more um, permitted development reforms to make it simpler for developers like you and me. Uh, and these will be coming on stream around about April, May in 2021. Now I've done a video on this um, as soon as the government announced the consultation on this. Uh, that's had plenty of views, plenty of comments. Watch that, digest that. Because you know what, um, you want to be taking action on these permitted development opportunities, not when it's two years down the line and it's in the rear view mirror. You want to be the first mover to take advantage of these opportunities before too many people get to know about them or the powers that be decide to clip the wings off some of these uh, permitted development rights as they have done in the past. So get to grips with the strategy for 2021, bruh is the game in town for 2021 and the current market conditions and uh, creating extra dwellings uh, is the best way to add value through renovation. Equip yourself with the PD rights, the knowledge of the PD rights, because that's going to allow you to do things quickly. Now that's what to do in um, 2021. Uh, now let me talk about the third category of videos, which is really about what not to do or what to do less of in 2021. Now I've been investing in property for 30 years and what happens is you don't do the same thing for very long. Um, a strategy works. A strategy works because of the current phase in the market cycle, current market conditions, tax laws, planning laws, um, tenancy regulations. All these factors come together to make a particular property investing strategy worthwhile. And then, you know, it runs, it runs very well. You can cookie cut, you can rinse and repeat, and you can keep going. Uh, but all of a sudden, things change. And what I've noticed in my 30 year career, that every six or seven years, there's some game changer, which makes that, makes the old strategy far less worthwhile doing. And you've got to look at the new opportunities that are presented uh, by new circumstances, by a new market environment that evolves. Now, successful people in 2021 will know when it's time, when it's time to give up or do less of um, certain strategies which may have worked well in the past. Now, one such strategy is, of course, rent to rent. I've done some videos on rent to rent. Uh, they've proved quite controversial. Uh, I've done one video from the point of view uh, of you, the investor, taking on a landlord's um, rent to rent properties. And I've described in detail the pitfalls of doing that particular strategy. And if you're a landlord, um, I've done another video which explains the pitfalls of giving someone, uh, giving a rent to rent operator your property. Now, I've actually done rent to rent from both sides. I've taken landlords' properties on rent to rent. I've also given my properties to people to operate on a rent to rent basis. So, this is something that's known to me. And these videos are uh, born out of that experience. You see, the big problem with rent to rent is the time in the market. The time in the market we're in right now is about acquisition. It's not about control. This is, the recessions and market conditions like we're going to have over the next few years are the best time to acquire and own real estate. It's not about controlling it and being a glorified letting agent and then sitting back and then, and then in five, six years time, really regretting and kicking yourself that you didn't actually buy doing that this time and wasted your time just controlling someone else's asset. And in a similar vein, I wouldn't really be looking at HMOs or expanding into HMOs uh, in 2021 without a huge amount of due diligence. I've done a video on the kind of due diligence and pitfalls that you may encounter with the HMO strategy. And I suggest you watch that and equip yourself um, with the knowledge in that video. In a nutshell, HMO demand will be dampened 
for some time to come. It's mainly because of the unemployment situation. We've got Brexit, less people coming in from Europe. And we've also got the factor of COVID that people are a little bit wary of staying in accommodation where they have to share a lot of communal space, particularly kitchens and bathrooms with people that they don't know. Now, fourthly, whatever you're doing, property, more now more than ever, you've got to fully understand tax. This COVID crisis is, co is costing the UK a lot of money, and they're going to want to recoup uh, that money in any way they can. So tax will go up. And what you've got to do is make sure that whatever you do in property, you structure your business in the correct way, in the proper way, so that you don't leak tax. Uh, you don't leak cost, if you like, um, from your property business. Getting this wrong can be deadly. If you and I both have prop rental properties next door to each other and, um, and they're identical, but I've structured my property business in a tax efficient way and you haven't, then basically, if hard times come, I can be far more flexible. I can take a far more flexible and long-term outlook than you can because your cost base is so much higher. The tax isn't riveting stuff. We've done several videos on it. We've tried to make it a little bit more entertaining for you guys, uh, but it's essential that you understand the basics. So I've, we, I've put some videos on this playlist on how to structure uh, property-related businesses. And if you haven't al already done so, if you haven't looked at incorporating your portfolio into a limited company, I think time may be running out. There may be some changes to the rules that allow you to do it. Um, in the future. So that's something you really need to look at. So I suggest you look at the, uh, the videos that we've proved very popular in this channel on section 24 and incorporating your property, pro property portfolio to mitigate those, those rules. And finally, number five, the fifth set of videos that I think you should watch are the property elevator pitch videos. Now you may have seen some of these. Uh, I've been one of five property angels on the Sky TV show, Property Elevator. It's basically a show like Dragon's Den, where property entrepreneurs come with their property deals and they pitch them to five angels and, it, and we quiz them on it. We analyze the deals live uh, and then we figure out whether we want to invest our own money into those property projects. Now, what I've got for you is the pitches as they were shown on TV. Plus, I've interjected my own sort of reaction and analysis, extra deal analysis on top. You should watch all of these videos, just binge watch the whole lot, because you will be able to see a whole bunch of people doing deals, doing real property deals. You'll see the breadth and variety of the deals that are pitched to us, and you'll see how five uh, knowledgeable, experienced property entrepreneurs evaluate those deals and anal analyze those deals and decide whether they are worth doing or not. Because in 2021, that's the skill that you've got to get, quite frankly. You've got to be like the five property angels on the Property Elevator show. When a deal opportunity comes to you, uh, that presents itself to you, you've got to be able to quickly figure out uh, is, it a, is it a deal or no deal? And the only way to do that is to practice in the nets, if you like, and watching those binge watching those elevators is the best way of doing that. Now, I'd love to know what you think of my playlist and binge watching uh, recommendations. Now, if there's something in particular you want us to cover on this channel in 2021, let us know in the comments below. Uh, if you see someone has suggested a video idea and you too like it, then, then just like their comment. The ones that have most likes will certainly aim to do in 2021. Now, I'm really excited about 2021. We've got quite a few uh, property projects on the go. We'll be doing a lot more vlogs of some of those projects to take you through the journey of uh, how those deals are getting done uh, in the challenging times uh, that, that will unfold. So if you haven't already done so, subscribe and like, obviously, hit the bell icon so you're notified as soon as we upload. Enjoy binge watching. And if you know any other property investors who don't watch this channel, share, share it with your property friends as well. Until the next video, bye for now.